part of tax reform, Joe, I think ultimately is likely to be something that involves the tax code. In other words, a, a tax credit, probably a refundable tax credit to give people the ability to go out and buy their own health care with their own money, make their own choices, uh, bring back more market forces into health care to get the costs down. So I think they're related. Both have to be done. And regulations is the third one, which is also related. You know, we've got to cut back on the overregulation. And we're going to be doing that over the next month with these Congressional Review Act procedures we can do with only 51 votes in the Senate. So it's going to be a busy first uh, couple months. Senator Portman, it's Michelle here. How do hey, you Michelle. feel about the way, the, when I look at the GOP plan for tax reform, they really want to change the corporate tax structure dramatically in the U.S. They want to tax imports and uh, drop corporate tax rates on exports to zero. Is that something that, that you think is a good idea? And do you have any indications that President-elect likes that? I mean, it would certainly help him deliver on his promise to tax imports. No, I, I think you're absolutely right. Look, there's such a great potential here to fix our tax code and to make it more competitive and, and therefore to create more jobs. And all the analysis says if we do that, uh, we will have higher wages and, and better benefits for workers as well, which is the key. So uh, I think it's really exciting. I think there, there are sort of two aspects to it. One is to go to an international system where we can repatriate uh, much of the profit that's been made overseas that's staying overseas. Uh, people say that's two or two and a half trillion dollars. That would be a, a huge boon to the economy to bring that money back and invest it here. And then the second part is dealing with some sort of border adjustability. Other countries, as you know, have VAT taxes in place where they don't tax their exports going out, but they tax imports coming in. Uh, that puts us at a competitive disadvantage. So I do think both of those things can and should be done. And if we do it, you know, I think we're, we're, we're going to see a, a big impact and, and pretty much immediately. Uh, you recall that over the last couple of years, Joe, you and I have talked about this, um, and, and Michelle, I, I know you've been involved in this issue as well. Uh, Chuck Schumer and I put together a working group plan about a year ago that was bipartisan, uh, that Paul Ryan liked, that other people spoke favorably about, including the administration, that took on some of these international tax issues. So I think this can actually be bipartisan, as opposed to maybe some of the Obamacare discussion we, we started off with and something that will really help to get the economy moving. But, Senator, let's see, just in the last uh, couple of days, we had uh, the minority leader, uh, Senator Schumer, saying there isn't a, there's not a, uh, a nominee in, in the country, Supreme Court nominee, that's going to pass muster with him or, or the Democrats. So it's, yeah. they're just saying that they're so mad about Merrick Garland um, that, that there's going to be uh, absolutely nothing. You, you've seen the the Harry Reid Senate and the slow, steady decline of, of, I don't know what you'd call it, decorum or, or camaraderie. You think it's salvageable uh, in, in the future with Donald Trump as president? Well, I hope so. I mean, I, I, I do believe that civility is part of the answer here, you know, to get back to a situation where we can disagree on, on policy issues, but, you know, figure out a way to find common ground, and that includes respecting one another. So. You know, I guess I'm old fashioned in that regard, Joe, but yeah, that's what the American people want, by the way. Uh, I just won an election in Ohio where I talked about that all the time and talked about the, you know, 45 bills that I'd gotten passed and that I work across the aisle to get stuff done. I'm a conservative who believes in results, and I think that's what people want. So I hope we can get back to that. Uh, if we don't, we're really letting people down. I mean, let's face it, and you guys deal with this every day, this economy is underperforming. And the impact of that is primarily on, on families and on wages being flat, even declining on average over the past couple decades. Uh, it, on the other hand, expenses are up dramatically, especially health care. So those are two areas. You know, the tax code will help. The regulatory reform will help on the, on the growth side. The Obamacare reforms will help in terms of getting those costs under control where we can really help people. But it requires us to work together. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.